Why is there a beach in China that is colored crimson? What's the story behind the giant pink lake in Africa? Find out in 13 Amazing Places That Really Exist. Number 13. The Richat Structure In the country of Mauritania, which lies on the northwest coast of Africa, there is an astounding geological formation that looks like the flattened fossil of a giant nautilus shell. This colorful spiral, known as the Richat Structure, lies in the Sahara Desert and is believed to have once been a geological dome that slowly eroded and flattened out. This 30-mile-wide wonder is full of beautiful green, blue, and red rocks. With its striking appearance and size, the feature commonly referred to as the Eye of Africa was once used by astronauts as a marker to help calculate their locations. Number 12. Lake Retba At first glance, Lake Retba, which is just outside the capital city of Dakar, Senegal, looks like someone filled a lake full of Pepto-Bismol because of its milky pink waters. But this lake is actually full of salt water, which is loved by a bacteria called Dunalila salina, which creates a red pigment in order to help with photosynthesis. This salt lake actually has a greater amount of salt in it than the famed Dead Sea, and many of the local Senegalese earn a living by harvesting then selling the salt from the lake. Despite its odd appearance, it is completely safe to swim in, though it may make you feel like you're on another planet. Number 11. Wisteria Flower Tunnel Pictures of the Wisteria Flower Tunnel look like something out of an impressionist painter's daydream. But this beautiful feature of the Kawachi Fuji Gardens in Kitakushu, Japan, is a place that you can really visit in the land of the rising sun. The Wisteria Flower Tunnel is a man-made passageway made up of over 150 wisteria plants. When wisterias bloom, they put out a beautiful lavender-colored flower, which line the entire tunnel, which nature lovers can walk through and enjoy. From April 27th to the 29th, the garden holds a wisteria festival to celebrate the peak of the flower's blooming season. Nika Mine Getting in and out of Nika Mines in Chihuahua, Mexico can be quite challenging and dangerous for even the most adept cavers, but the sights to behold within are some of the most dazzling on Earth. In a recently discovered part of the mines called the Cave of Crystals, one can find millions of gypsum crystals that cover the floors and the walls. And we aren't just talking about crystals that you can hold in your hand. Some of the crystals are over 30 feet in height and 10 feet in diameter. Not only is the cave hard to traverse because of these giants that jut out from every direction, the cave reportedly can reach temperatures up to 135 degrees Fahrenheit, with almost 100% humidity on top of that. The geologists that study the caves are forced to limit their time inside to less than 10 minutes to make sure they don't succumb to the intense heat. Number 9. Tulip Fields When tulips were first brought to Europe from Turkey in the 1500s, they quickly became the favorite flower of royals across the continent. Because of the Netherlands' rich soil that was ideal for the flower and their trading expertise, the Dutch became the primary source of tulips throughout the world. If you happen to visit the Netherlands, the extensive fields in which the plants are grown are a must-see for anyone who cherishes natural beauty. Most of these fields are located in the northern part of the country and feature billions of tulips of every color imaginable. What's more, these colors are often strategically planted in patterns to accentuate their awe-inspiring appearance. If you want to see the most artistic use of the flower, you can visit the Kuchenhof Flower Park in the city of Lies, where they are grown to be enjoyed by tourists and locals, not just as a crop. Other than tulips, you can find gigantic fields of other types of flowers and plants, as Holland is one of the biggest producers of all types of botanic beauty. Number 8. Waitumo Glowworm Cave what type of natural wonder could be created by a carnivorous maggot that is the larval form of an insect called the fungus gnat? Well, these creatures are also more commonly known as glowworms, and their bioluminescence makes them a mesmerizing sight, especially inside of the Waitumo glowworm cave, where there are thousands of them all putting off their bluish-white light at once. The 30-million-year-old limestone caves in New Zealand are one of the only places in the world where a person can see this many glowworms in one place, with the other caves also mostly found in New Zealand or Australia. If you get the chance to visit, taking the boat tour through the various caves of Waitumo, and especially the Glowworm Grotto, is reported to be one of the most amazing experiences to be had in the land of the Long White Cloud. Number 7. Tunnel of Love One of the most amazing places in the world actually came to be because of the former Soviet Union's desire for secrecy. During nuclear tensions with the United States, what was once part of a railway that led to a secret military installation, the Tunnel of Love in Ukraine has now become a popular tourist destination. This tunnel isn't made up of stone or brick, but rather lush birch trees form the walls and roof that encase the tracks. The trains that run the tracks no longer ship military equipment. Now they mainly help deliver plywood from a nearby factory. People have become enamored with the tunnel, as it has come to represent nature overtaking industry. And though it is still somewhat dangerous to walk on working train tracks, people have been flocking to enjoy the tranquility of the Tunnel of Love for years. Number 6. Cherry Blossom Avenue The town of Bonn, which sits on the banks of the Rhine River in Germany, looks as though it is straight out of one of the Grimm Brothers' fairy tales. The town's history dates all the way back to 12 BC, 
and is probably most famous for being the birthplace of Ludwig van Beethoven. However, if you travel the short distance from his birthplace, down the cobblestone roads, past the centuries-old buildings, you will find one of the most fantastic features in the world. On Heerstrasse, or Cherry Blossom Avenue, you will find a road that is completely roofed by rows of beautiful cherry blossom trees. This isn't the only street that has been made into a tunnel of flowers by the city planners, but it is the most famous. The best time to visit this enchanting street of natural magic is in the month of April. There is also a festival held around this time every year to celebrate the blooming trees. Number 5. Red Beach Every autumn, tourists all over the world take a trip to the Shuangtaizi River Estuary on the outskirts of the Chinese city of Panjin to experience the feeling of being transported to another planet. This is where the famed Red Beach is located, and the fall is when it earns its namesake. As the flourishing seepweed that makes up most of the wetland area turns from emerald green to a spellbinding crimson red, the seepweed retains the reddish pigment from the large amount of salt water that mixes within the estuary from the ocean. This striking color, combined with the blue hue of the river and the gorgeous sunrises and sunsets that overtake the land, is something that you would think only existed in science fiction films. If you prefer the color purple to red, well you're also in luck, as if you wait only a few weeks you can see the red seepweed slowly turning a deep purple. Number 4. Mendenhall Ice Caves You have to be quite ambitious and physically fit in order to see this next amazing place, as it is only accessible by way of kayaking and then ice climbing. However, the absolutely stunning Mendenhall Ice Caves are well worth the trek. Located outside of the Alaskan capital of Juneau, these ice caves are inside of the giant Mendenhall Glacier in the serene Mendenhall Valley. After climbing over the glacier itself, you will reach the cave entrance, and you will already be able to see why these caves make our list. The walls and the roof of the caves are made entirely of ice and are full of pockets in which water bubbles and trickles through, giving one the feeling of being underwater without needing a scuba tank. The flowing water and melting of the glacier have also created some astounding patterns within the ice. One of the things that makes the ice caves so breathtaking is their fleeting nature. Because of the rapidly changing climate, the Mendenhall ice caves probably won't last the century, if even that long. Number 3. Chand Baori. In Abhinari, India, there is one of the world's largest step wells, and its design would have left even the likes of the artist M. C. Escher's head spinning. Built in the 9th century, Chand Baori is considered the deepest step well on Earth, going down over 100 feet. What makes this step well so amazing is the intricate design put into its steps. The particular ornateness of the Chanbayori can perhaps be due to its location next to the Harshat Mata Temple. The well is made up of thousands of symmetrical steps of stairs that form repeating pyramid and diamond-shaped patterns. These patterns were not only designed this way to revere the gods and look cool, as these Indian architects of the Middle Ages knew that symmetry and the precisely calculated dimensions of the stairs would allow the step well to retain more water for a longer period of time. Number 2. Salar de Uyuni there are several amazing qualities about the world's largest salt flat, known as the Salar de Uyuni, that keeps tourists flocking to this isolated location. The salt flat lies in southwestern Bolivia, near the edge of the Andes mountain range, and is over 4,000 square miles in size. It is also considered one of the flattest places on Earth, with only slight elevation dips here and there, that can be measured in millimeters. Because of its unique attributes, the site has been a haven for photographers and nature enthusiasts for years. Due to the intense amount of salt and lack of plant life, the area is almost uninhabitable, but that doesn't stop giant flocks of gorgeous pink flamingos from calling the area home. One of the most intriguing natural effects in the world can be seen here during the rainy season, as the flatness and salt combine with the water that sits on the ground to create a mirror effect, where one cannot tell where the land ends and the sky begins. This bizarre effect is also one of the chief reasons why the salt flat is an ideal place for calibrating satellites. Because the area is devoid of construction materials such as wood or stone, the locals have taken to building hotels out of salt in order to house the multitude of tourists that come every year. You may also recognize Salar de Uyuni from the recent Star Wars installment, The Last Jedi, as it was the locale used in the film's final battle sequence. Number 1. Door to Hell While searching for oil in 1971, scientists working for the Soviet Union accidentally created one of the most amazing yet frightening spectacles on Earth. Just outside the town of Derwedzi in Turkmenistan, the scientists had started a drilling operation, but instead of oil, they found substantial quantities of natural gas. They were excited at the potential resources the site contained, but when the fragile ground that was holding up the rig caved in, a massive crater formed, shooting out hazardous amounts of methane gas, which could have potentially harmed the local inhabitants. In order to stop the gas leak, they decided to set a fire in the crater, but the results didn't go as expected. Instead of burning off the excess gas in a matter of days, the fire continued to burn for years and still does until this day. Because of the seemingly infinite nature of the crater's blaze, the location is now known as the Door to Hell, and has become a huge tourist attraction. Though the mortaresque appearance may be a symbol of man's destruction of nature, the crater is still an amazing sight to behold. Which of these amazing places would you like to visit most, and why? 
subscribe for more videos.